another card in my 25 cards in 25 days holiday card series. I'm putting a link to the playlist in the upper right corner so you can see all the cards I've made so far. And now I'm back with card number 14 and this card features products from Doodlebug Design and Mama Elephant. Here's a close-up of what the card looks like and let's get started. I'm using a lot of elements from the Simon Says Stamp Merry and Bright December 2016 card kit, so I figured I'd walk you through the kit first and then tell you which elements I'm using in this card. So they have this really awesome Merry and Bright stamp set, a bunch of Doodlebug designed products like the Doodle Pops mailbox, these really cool enamel stickers with candy canes on them. It also comes with the Chibi Tronics intro sticker kit. Um, this contains three light stickers inside, different from the starter kit that I usually feature in my videos. Here is this really cute 6x6 six six pattern paper pack from Doodlebug Design. Um, they just have the cutest little designs like reindeer and the cars with the trees on it. That would have been perfect for card number two, the one that I made with the car with the tree. And then um, just Santa and it's just super, super festive. So I love these pattern paper packs. Um, we get two different size envelopes, a normal red one, an A2 red one, and a little gift card envelope. A bunch of paper, there's vellum, and then there's three different, or I think four different colors of just really, really heavy duty Simon Says Stamp cardstock. Like this is super thick paper, it's pretty cool. And then with all their kits, they provide an inspiration sheet. So here are some cards made by their very talented design team. For this card, I'm also using the Mama Elephant Incoming Mail Stamps and the Snowcap Mountain Dies. So I stamped the panda who has his arm lifted up um, on some Nina Solar White cardstock using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And now I'm just using some very light cool grays to kind of color in some shadow. The panda I'm going to keep mostly white and I just want a little bit of shadow and definition um, on his body. I also stamped this really cute panda holding the envelope and I decided to stamp it on the red envelope and then color in the areas in white using my white gel pen. I'm not really uh, happy with the way it turned out, but it totally works. Like I, I think maybe if I had used colored pencil, it would have been easier and better. You wouldn't see all these lines, but oh well, it's fine. It's the back of an envelope. And then I tried to like spice it up with some Link of Stella. Next, I'm taking the coordinating dies and cutting out the panda and the snow-capped mountain tops. And then I'm going to take the bottom of that and cut out a stitch slope. This is actually the Simon Says Stamp Stitch Slopes and Hills die set. So they have a bunch of different hill shapes. Um, there's like this mound, and then there's one that's slightly curvy, and there's one that's a double layer hill slope. That was pretty cool too. Um, so I use those. I'm also using the Simon Says Stamp Stitched Rectangles, which I just made a frame out of. And then I'm taking that largest frame and I'm just cutting out the bottoms of each of these slopes so that they all fit um, within the frame that I cut out because I don't, I don't want them sticking out from the bottom. And then I couldn't figure out the right shape for the slope that I want to use. I cut so many different shapes out. Next I'm adding some foam adhesive to the back of the frame. And then I'm also using this frame as kind of a guide on how big I should cut the pattern paper that's going to show through the window. And as it turns out right here, I do the measuring all wrong and I cut a piece that's a little too small. You can't really tell on camera right now, but I do go back afterwards in the video to cut a larger piece, a wider piece, because I want to make sure it can attach to the foam adhesive. I'm also cutting a piece of vellum that will go over the pattern paper. Next, I'm using a series of cool grays, C1, C3, and C5, to color in the mountain tops. I'm using a piece of scrap paper to put behind this so I can col color all the way to the edge. And I'm also going to use the snow caps um, that I die cut as a guide so that I can get a sense of how far down I need to color. Now I'm going to speed this up, set it to some music, and I'll be back at the end.
Next I'm taking all those little snow caps and I'm adding them on top of the mountain I just colored. And I'm also going to take all the layers of the card and figure out where they need to go so I can assemble it from the bottom up. So right now I'm assembling the background. I put some vellum on top of the snowflake background so it kind of is a little frosty. And then I'm attaching the mountains and now the hills. And then lastly, that top border. Next I glue that mailbox down in the lower right corner and I add the panda and then I want him to send all the letters to Santa. So I just stagger these little envelopes that came with the mailbox sticker from Doodlebug Design and I'm just having him send all those letters into the mailbox. One of them looks like it's going to fall out of the mailbox, but it's okay, Santa's going to get it. Next I'll take my Wink of Stella and make all the snow sparkle. And then I'm also taking a standard A2 card base and gluing the panel to it and then adding some Wink of Stella over the snowflakes. Now I felt like the card still needed a little more sparkle, so I grabbed a bag of sequins and I decided to add those to the background so it would feel like snow was falling or something. So here are two close-ups of the finished card. I just think these stickers are so fun and super cute and it works so well with the Mama Elephant stamp set. Thank you all so much for watching card number 14 of my holiday card series. If you're interested in more videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can follow me on social media at Bubblegum Paper or visit my blog at bubblegumpaper.com. Here are links to the two most recent videos I made, cards number 12 and 13. I'll be back soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye.